Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday on May 4th. How's everybody doing? Oh, hold on, let me check my audio. It looks like my audio is having a little issue here. Hold on. Testing, testing. Here we go. Just want to do a quick fix. All right. Too loud, Fausto. All right, hold on. Let me just lower this mic, see if that helps. Is that a little better? Scratchy? Still too loud. Hmm. Someone's messing with my mic. All right, there. That should be a little better, right? Okay. All right, so everyone, uh, we've got a packed house today. Let me tell you, there's a lot of good stuff to talk about. Holy cow. From yesterday, uh, so far, May has been, you know, as always, usually, historically, been a great month if you've been a trader here at cyber trading i've been doing for uh, you know i track my uh my trades year by year month by month day by day and uh you know as you get better and more season you don't have to be as aggressive but you always want to know as your journals goes and you you'll know what months are better than others uh you got to keep a very close eye on you know knowing when when you should be taking off when you should be going on vacation because you don't want to be leaving and disappearing on the best the, you know the busy times of the season and so far let me tell you may's been great man we had i i can't believe how many stocks that we have uh so far this week and i'm not talking about like you know 20 50 percent movers i'm talking like 300 1200 percent movers in one day it's just like unprecedented and you know what Guys, like I tell all of you, I know some of you missed out and I sent out a couple of emails and, uh, you know, and, and, and some people just realize, uh, you know, they, did they get it? They did not get it. Guys, just buy one share. Buy one damn share. What's going to possibly happen? You can't trade on demo forever. You got to get in the game. And let me tell you, when you, when, when, when you break that seal and when you finally make that little crack into the market, Boom, your life changes immediately, okay? It can't, exactly. Why not? You know, when I do my trials, I mean, and, I'm, and I know we have a lot of new members that have been joining us, and, you know, a lot, some of them move forward with CTO and some of them didn't. And I always tell them, guys, what do you have to lose? You know, doing a trial for $7. I mean, honestly, what do you have to lose? When you don't, if you don't like it, I'll give you money back. I don't need you $7. I'm just looking for people that are serious and that, I, that we could recruit, that can contribute, and help us all make money. And that's why we do it. And, um, you know, some people figure it out. Some people take advantage of it. And some people, you know, still think they can learn on their own and get free stuff and learn on YouTube. And, and it's sad. But remember, it is an 80% failure rate. But like you said, Ken, why not, right? What do you have to lose? Anyway, a lot of stuff that was going on, guys. And, I mean, I don't even know where to start. But we'll just bang out what happened yesterday. VVPR. Um, big big mover yesterday. Look at that stock, a dollar to about seven dollars. Where are you going to find that? You think they're going to talk about this on CNBC? You guys cleaned up yesterday, and like I said in my trials that I do, those events on Thursday, how to be the part-time two-hour trader, and that's what that was. You you in at nine thirty, you were done at eleven. Great great mover. Congratulations, a lot of you guys for trading that. Uh, a lot of people did well on it. And you know what? I don't even want to go how many shares some of you basically traded. But uh, you know now you guys are starting to realize it's only becoming numbers. Uh, a couple other ones, uh, the BOXL, that also had another, you know, once again, big mover. Stock went from $4 all the way to 16 I mean, this is like, this is like, Ken, how do you say it? Too easy, right? You know, I, I feel like... This is like the initial public offering. You know what's so funny? Everybody was making such a big deal and talking about cryptocurrencies, right? Everybody's talking about, you know, buying the cryptocurrencies. Listen, we, we deal with cryptocurrencies every day with a different stock every day. That's what it basically comes down to. Um, CLTWT, that also another, once again, big mover. And by the way, she's still pushing a little bit, but that, here we go, three to eight. I mean, listen, if you missed one, you had another one. Another one that was pretty good, and we, we talked about it. Uh, oops, spelt it wrong. T-E-V-A. That was the one that we had yesterday uh, in the after hours, I, I, in the afternoon meeting. I said, you know what? The stock looks great as a short. And sure enough, it did exactly what we said. You know, if you got in at 1820 
I mean, it wasn't a big mover, but you know, you should have maybe pulled at least about 20, 30 cents out of this one. So that one was a pretty cheapy. That one worked out pretty well. All right. So, oh, now listen, another thing, you know, unfortunately, we, we've been trading these big, big winners. Unfortunately for some of us, you, some of you might get lucky, but if you miss the run up, you can always short, right? VVPR, let's just go back. I just want to review this. Look what it's doing now. Stock's down 22%. IMTE, which was like so much fun, right? With that stock go from, from 5 to 40, look where it is, down 25%. Look at it trending down. Great, great winner. A lot of us made a lot of money on that one too. Forgot to mention that one. CHEK, great short. Stock went from, what do we had it at? Like 5, it went to 20. You know, another, another huge winner. Great, great short. Um, what you basically are witnessing, guys, is a lot of, you know, um, uh, short squeezes and everything else. But I don't know if some of these stocks might sometimes fall into your short list. So if you do miss the stocks on the long, you could always go short. All right. All right. Now, everyone ready to, to fasten your seatbelt and get ready for the watch list? Because let me tell you, we got a pack, pack list over here. First of all, I want to talk about two big swing trades. Okay. Shake Shack. Shake Shack um, is a stock that we traded um, two years ago. We made a lot of money on Shake Shack. And um, you know, a lot of you guys remember it. We, 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 we was a great swing trade. Uh, I think a lot of us got out. We got in around, around 45. A lot of us got out between 75 and 80. It did go to 95, but then you could see it then came crashing down. It's been holding here strong for a long, long time. The stock is finally starting to break out of its shell a little bit. It's up 9%. That one is back on, on, the, on the Fausto watch list, okay? Ferrari. I'm a little upset at myself because I kind of chased this stock yesterday. Unfortunately, um, I did get the stock at 126. Uh, I was doing the free event yesterday. You know, sometimes I do these free events and it costs me money. And that was one of the situations. But I ended up buying it at like 126. I really should have had it at 122, you know. But stock's been, Ferrari's been really, really strong. We made a lot of money on it. I'm long back on the swing trade. Ferrari, you know, I, listen, I could see it being $150 stock. Um, pretty soon. All right, now, day trades. CREG, I know we've all been looking at it already. A lot of you already been in it. That stock, if you remember, we traded this back in November. It went from a dollar to nine dollars in one day. So we know the stock, it could be another, you know, VVPR or an IMTE or a CHEK. I mean, here you go. So it looks like we got another one that's going to be testing the short squeeze, in my opinion. Uh, PTLA, another nice little mover right here. Long the expensive side, but stocks gapped up pretty big. It's up 31%. Long the expensive side for some of you. You got to be about four category to trade this one, but it is going on my list. CLWT, another one, little cheapy right here. Stock gapped up great yesterday. She's still um, trading strong. 87,000 shares already trade up 25%. That one's going back on my watch list again. RIOT. Another one that some of you remember this, we traded at five. It was a great day trade and also became a great swing trade. Um, RIOT blockchain, stock went to 45. Look, she's moving pretty decent right now. So put this back on your watch list. Maybe it's going to start trickling some of those cryptocurrency guys to start trading them. MARA, very cheap stock. A lot of you guys also should remember this one. We traded the stock in November. We went from a dollar to ten dollars. It was a great fun move. Doesn't it, it, It's not showing me too much right now, but I know it's done. I went back to my journals. I remember trading it. It was a fun stock, so I'm putting it on the watch list. Pandora is filling in a gap right now. So Pandora could probably go right around 7. It almost got there in pre-market, but Pandora making a little bit of a comeback. Um, obviously, it's doing well. What the hell is going on with Weight Watchers? I just, like, I, I just can't believe it. We watched this stock. Right in the beginning of the year, ten dollars went to seventy. Are you kidding me? To seventy-seven? This is like unbelievable. I mean, I, well, first it was a joke when a lot of us thought when Oprah bought at thirty and the thing crashed at ten. You know, if everybody remember that. But this thing is just like unbelievable. Well, she's definitely got to be the president of the company. She only bought ten percent of it, but I just can't believe it. I mean, they, this stock is literally it's doing that well. It be, it's doing that well of earnings. It's all about earnings, guys. And okay, Nokia, level one stock, cheap stock. I'm throwing it out there because, you know, after what happened with Sprint and with, um, 
you know, and, and T-Mobile, you know, it, it is stock. You got to trade. You could trade 10,000 shares and uh, you could, you know, like I said, people trade this for pennies, but it's a fun stock for a beginner if you're afraid to hit the button. All right, a couple of stocks in the short list. Um, FLR, whatever comes up, comes crashing down. Stock's on 10 points already. Looks like breaking lower lows. I'm putting that one on the watch list. LP, um, BLP, I told you I have a big list, guys. BPL, I spelled it wrong. Okay, this one, another one, looks like a nice short, breaking lower lows down 11%. Um, you could see it on the long-term chart. Stock has been breaking lower lows. Looks really pretty for it. And let me tell you something. I want, I want this stock is not going to be on my watch list, but it actually is. But uh, I want to just bring this up. Listen, there's always opportunities out there. This stock last year was sixty dollars. Are you kidding me? It went to three hundred and twenty bucks. Holy cow! What a great, what a great damn stock, huh? Congratulations. But Guess what? Whatever goes up comes down crashing down, and now the stock, you know, listen, I don't know where, who, where anybody owns this thing, but, you know, <laughs> this this thing looks like a short to me. I mean, already it looks like it took a big hit. Let me tell you, earnings, the more you learn, the more you're going to realize earnings has a lot to do with it. We saw what happened with Ferrari. We saw what happened with Shake Shack. You know, uh, we're seeing what happened with NVIDIA and a lot of stocks, but, um, but you got to remember, it's all about earnings uh, when it comes down to it. And, you know, also people are really, really scared about certain companies, certain industries uh, with the market and they're moving them out. I, I, I also think race also, by the way, just talking about race really quick. I think a lot of people got turned off what happened a couple of days ago with Tesla on their conference call with their. Uh, and I think a lot of them start moving into Ferrari. Listen, it's half the price. You know, it's a better brand name stock than tesla you know and uh you know maybe, maybe that's maybe that's where we're at so it's never it never um it's never too late to jump into it guys remember if you thought a n e a n e t was a you know when it was at 80 and then it went to 130 and just like a ferrari and next thing you know now how did stock get to 300 it could happen guys remember when stock break all-time highs that's what ends up happening just like we cover in our class now before we go everybody I know we have a lot of new traders, uh, a lot of new members in the room. Please make sure you talk to education advisor. Let them see what this is for you. You're probably going to be very confused, uh, which is great. That just shows you that you don't know how to trade. So make sure you watch the videos. Talk to the education advisor. He'll tell you if this is for you or not, and hopefully you'll be part of our family. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. If I don't see you going into this close, um, I will be... Um, uh, into this close. I'll see you back on Monday. Just make sure you do your homework. I will not be here this afternoon. Just give everyone a heads up. I got a very um, a big event that I'm going to be doing, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes on Monday. All right, it's still kind of a surprise. All right, I'll talk to you guys then. Happy trading, everybody.